Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at quadratic inequalities in two variables. All right, so we see an inequality, we see this quadratic, and there's two variables, x and y, like that. So these are examples of the type of inequalities we're going to study today. So if you've completed the previous inequalities videos, today's lesson will be a lot easier for you. And if you've done the quadratics videos, that too will make today's lesson a lot easier for you. So in this lesson, you may round your answers to two decimal places. So let's get started. Example one, graph the inequalities. So what we have here is x squared, and this is our boundary line. And because we're allowed to be equal, it's solid. So we have a solid line, x squared like that. And what we're looking at is y greater than x squared. So this region here is above the x squared. So this is what's called our solution region. So any points within the solution region is a solution to the inequality. So let's do a test point. If you can see it, there's a a here, which is 0 0.01. Right? We plug in x equals 0, plug in y equals 1, and we get 1 greater or equal to 0, which is true. So this test point is part of the solution region, as we see in our graph. B, y is greater than negative x squared minus 1. Right, so this is also easy to graph. Negative x squared and then down 1, negative 1 like that. y is greater than that function. Right, So here's our function there. y is greater than that, so that's above. So that's all of this region like that. It's not allowed to be equal, so it's dashed. The boundary line is dashed. You're not allowed to be equal to the function. It must be only above it, like that. Okay, C. Y is less or equal to x squared minus 2x. So we can factor x squared minus 2x. There's x in common like that. So when is it equal to 0? It's equal to 0 at x equals 0 and x equals 2, like that. So these are the two points there. The vertex occurs in the middle, so that's x equals 1. If we plug in x equals 1 into our function, we get negative 1. And so our vertex is 1 comma negative 1. So we update that there. And what we're looking for is y being below that function. So we have our function here, and the y is below it. So any point from this solution region is a solution to the inequality like that. And it's a solid boundary line because you're allowed to be equal. Okay, practice number one. Graph the inequalities a, b, c, and d. Go ahead and pause the video and answer that. Okay, we're back. So a, y is greater than x squared plus 1, right? So we have our x squared plus 1 here. Greater than, so it's above, so that's this area here. It's dashed because it's not allowed to be equal. And so there's the graph of the inequality. b, y is less or equal to negative x squared. So negative x squared graphs like this. It is below it, so underneath like that. And it's allowed to be equal, so it's a solid boundary line like that. OK, C. Y is greater or equal to x minus 1 squared minus 3. We notice that the vertex right away is 1 comma negative 3 like that. So we can put that in our graph. We're going to take some points around the vertex, so x equals 0 gives us y negative 2, so we plug that there. x equals 2, plug it in, we get negative 2 as well, so 2, negative 2, like that. And then we graph our function as such. It is solid boundary line because allowed to be equal, and it's y greater than that function, so above like that, and so that's the solution region. Okay, D y is less than this function like that so first thing we're going to do is get our x intercepts a is negative 1 b is 3 and c is negative 1 like that plug that in and we get two possibilities like that 0 0.38 and 2.62 the vertex is in the middle of that so we add them up divide by 2 gives 1.5 for our x value Plug that into our function to get our y value of 
So here we are, 0 0.38, 2.62, 1 uh, 1.5, sorry, 1.5, 1.25 like that. And so there is the graph of our function. It is not equal, so it is a dashed boundary line. And we're looking for y being underneath, below that function, right? Less than, so there's our function, and it's the solution region underneath that function there. And so there's the graph of the inequality. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.